picking glass out of the carpet for the rest of the week. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm phoning the police. No, Simon. But one of us could have been hurt. We've got to report it. Yeah, like the police are going to be interested. Yeah, well, I'll have to do something. What? Nobody saw it happen and we can't prove it was them. Oh, so what do you suggest we do then? Give in and move away? No, we fix the window and we get on with it. This isn't simply going to go away. Yeah, well, bringing the police into it's only going to draw more attention to it. Fine. You fix the window, we'll forget it ever happened. Until next time. Simon, you're late. Yeah, sorry. Is that it? Not even an excuse this time? Is everything all right, Simon? Uh, yeah, we had a bit of trouble at the flat. Look, I'll make the time up. Yeah, well, it's not good enough. Setting up's when we need you most. Now, listen, you can finish off while we go and get some breakfast, all right? Come on, get you. Yeah. Please, Mum. Can I go on my own? I'll go, honestly. Can you trust me? Of course I do, but the police will expect me to accompany you. But why? Because it's a formal juvenile caution. Why don't you want me to go with you? You'll be ashamed of me. Of course I won't. Look, you've learned your lesson, you've faced up to the consequences. I'll be proud to go in there and stand by you. Now go on, go and get your things. <sighs> Poor Martin, eh? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not looking forward to it myself either. Hopefully once this is over, that'll be it. Yeah. Now that settlement's coming through, perhaps we can get back to our lives. This is going to be a new beginning for all years, Pauline. Yeah. I know that money's no substitute for a father, but at least I should be able to give Martin a good start in life, you know, training college, whatever he wants. Definitely. Hello. Yeah, this is Ruth Fowler. That's for me. See you later. Oh, see you later. Come on, Martin. <sighs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, of course. <sighs> I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. That makes a pound. Lovely. Thanks, love. Simon? Simon, when you've got a moment. Oh, sorry. Hang these up. They're 19.99, okay? Right. I watch it! Now you watch it. They have an accident with nerves like that. <laughs> What's that about? Simon, what happened? One of those jokers just. What, what a mess! How are we going to get this off? What are you playing at? It wasn't his fault. One of those heads dropped it. What were they doing? There's a bottle of sauce over here. But why don't you ask him? Oh, just give it here. Oh. Simon, I noticed the window boiler. Oh, there's something going on. What? What's this? Our front window got broken last night. Why did that happen? Someone chucked a brick through it. Are you all right? Luckily, yeah. I made a little mess, though. I'll take it as something to do with that, Mark. But why are they picking on you? They seem to have a problem with Tony and me. Oh, great, so they come and damage my stocks. No, I'll clean up the mess. Mark, you got a minute? Yeah, sure. Sanj? Yeah, no problem, mate. Oh. What was all that about? Well, some people just don't like that sort of thing, do they? What sort of thing? Two blokes living together. Lost an agency called. Oh, yeah, what do they want? Well, they've offered us a place in the training course. Well, they've accepted us already. Yeah. There's a place available tomorrow evening, and they want to know if we can take it. Yeah, but if they're still considering this... But it's all part of the assessment. Do you really think that we're ready for this? Yeah, of course we are. You just seem so quick. I know, but we've got to do it sometime. I mean, I thought we were going to be waiting months. So what does it involve? Well, a couple of hours a week, um, we'll find out about the whole thing and see what our chances really are. Well, I suppose we've got nothing to lose and we didn't have anything planned for tomorrow night, did we? <laughs> right, I'll call them back. Yeah, OK. <laughs> mm. Mm. You're still here? Ain't you got a message yet? What message is that? Your salt ain't wanted in Morford. We ain't going anywhere. Oh. Don't say that you weren't warned. Oops. Come give me. Oi, what are you doing? Simon! Oi. Oh, look. What's going on? Come on, come on. Oi. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Great. How long has this been going on? About a week. And what else have they done? Made into Tony as he was coming home the other night. Is he all right? He lived. Maybe I should take the rest of the day off. Stay here. No way. That's just giving in to blackmail. Yeah, well, Sandra and Geet, I won't thank you for dragging him into this. I'm skating on thin ice there as it is. Well, then tell them what's been going on. They don't want to know. 
Nobody does. You didn't ask for this. Some people would disagree with that. Well, that's their problem. <laughs> it ain't that simple. No? Tony's not handling this very well. He'd rather nobody knew. Why? It's a big deal for him. You know, coming out. Well, it only seems like a big deal until you actually do it. <laughs> yeah, well, as far as he's concerned, this only proves his point. Kids like that, they're scared of anything they don't understand. It just gives them an excuse to have a go at something. Yeah, well, that's a great comfort. The first time I walked into an HIV clinic, I wanted a T-shirt saying I'm not gay on it. My attitude was, well, I'm here for the medical advice, but you can stuff your counselling. I'm not one of you lot. You must have been popular. I soon realised what a prat I was being. Look, if it wasn't for the gay community, then there wouldn't be any HIV support. The gay community? Do you know what bus route that's on? This is the community that we've got to live in. Right. Well, look, um, I'll keep an eye out for those jobs. I'd better get back. Yeah, and no, I better get that paint off before it dries. Thanks, Mark. What's this? It came this morning from the police. They said I don't have to go to court now. They're not dropping the charges, are they? No, no, it's saying something about Teddy was pleading guilty. So they don't need me to testify. But well, you've got a right to your day in court. They should hear what he did to you. You better read that out in the charges, won't they? And he'll have to admit to it. Yeah, but he still feels like he's getting off lightly. I don't mind, Mum. I wasn't exactly happy about going over it all again. Yeah, well, at least you'll be spared that. And Sarah, too. It all seems such a long time ago. Maybe it's better this way. Forget about the whole thing. Listen, just because you've bounced back and got on with your life doesn't mean you don't deserve what's coming to him. In fact, I've still got half a mind to be there to make sure that he does. Why aren't you working? What's up with the window? Simon, what's going on? Someone threw a brick for it last night. Are you all right? Did anybody get hurt? No, but that was more luck than anything else. Well, do you know who did it? Same gang that beat up Tony. Oh, no, Simon, you got me pulled in there. Tony still won't have the police involved. Yeah, but you both could have been hurt. He's having trouble dealing with the whole thing. Yeah, but he was beaten up and nervous. It's really knocked him back. He doesn't want to believe it's happening to him. He just wants it to go away. I'm trying to understand. I'm, I'm trying to help. But I just can't seem to get through to him. You will. I don't know whether it's this. Or us. Or what anymore. But ever since he took that job, we always seem to be arguing. This whole thing couldn't have come at a worse time. You've just got to be patient. You know, Tony. <laughs> Look, this is happening to me as well. I don't know how much more I can take. Yeah, but you'll work it out. I mean, you're both... What? Why? Because we're gay. We're going to be the perfect couple. No. But you've just both risked so much to be together. I can't believe you're going to walk away now. <sighs> oh, and you've never walked away from anything. You know better than anybody what I've been through with Grant. I love him and I never lost sight of that. Not for a moment. Just like I know you love Tony. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's enough. It should be, but... We're so far apart, he's scary. He don't put anything into this relationship. Oh, he wants the fun, the bars, the clubbing, but when it comes to dealing with everyday life, just supporting each other, I'm on my own. That's just Tony, that's just his style. Yeah, I need more than that. I've put so much into this, I've risked so much. I want to be with him. I I want to spend my life with him, but I'm too scared to say that to him because I just don't know if he wants the same anymore. Well, you just got to tell him how you feel. Make him listen, that's all you can do. Oh, you it, then. Come again. What's the problem? Oh, never mind. Next time it's on us. Hey! Hey! Hey, I know you. Just you try showing your faces near again and see what you get. Hello, boy. <laughs> We're starting on and whip out the banner. <laughs> We're not. You did turn up properly, didn't you? Of course I did. Sanjay, you didn't see Mama Ellen taking Willard, did you? No, sorry, I've been pretty busy. One of them must have taken him. Well, we'll trick at home and if he's not there, be with Robbie at the port cabin. Yeah. I mean, you want to watch out for him, Mum. They might try it on in here. 
Oh, I mean, do you know who they think they are just running off without paying? Would you know them again? Oh, you bet I would. If they show their face in my shop again, they would be very sorry. Oh, no, I don't want you tackling them on your own. You phone the police, let them sort it out. Oh, well, they sorted out here and then. Oh, some help they were. All right, they haven't got time to look into every complaint, I know, but theft is different. It just makes me so mad, Mum. I mean, louts like that just dossing around all day, expecting a free ride. While the rest of us work our fingers at the bone. I mean, why should we put up with a constant fever and a petty vandalism? You know, Tony got a brick through his window last night. What? Well, is he all right? I mean, why would anyone want to do that? Well, story has it that him and Simon are gay. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Well... Mum, why didn't you tell me? Ted asked me not to spread it around. I'm family. It's still their business, Ian. Sanjay Kapoor's? Oh, Tony. I hope he's all right. What an horrible thing to happen. Yeah. Now everyone knows a little secret. I was thinking more of the effect on him rather than what other people might think. Gruncher Park. And you're going to the airport? Right, we'll have someone there in half an hour, Mrs Martin. Don't you worry. Take care. Bye. Hi, Claire. Hi, I was just wondering, have you seen Sonia? Sonia? Isn't she at home? No. Well, maybe she's out walking well odd. Yeah, that must be it. OK, thanks. Lenny, can you come in, please? Well? Is she there? No. Oh, but he's got to be if he's not in the house. Robbie thinks he's with you. I've lost him. What am I going to do? Robbie, he's gonna kill me. All right. No, I've had a lousy day. Yeah? Yeah. Those tossers were out there again, hanging around and making damn sure I knew about it. Oh. Well, it's all right for you. You ain't been out there all day with a mouthing off in your face. Yeah, they only beat me up, but that's a minor detail, isn't it? Like getting the window fixed. I thought you were gonna do that. I tried, I couldn't get anyone. Not even your dad? I wanted to do it myself. Why? To save you the embarrassment of explaining to him why it happened? I was busy, Yeah, well, all. busy with what? Certainly not work. There was a message for you. Max, wondering where you were. Oh, great. Yeah, so what have you been up to all day? I had to get out. I, I needed to think. Yeah, well, lucky you had the option. I've been out there dealing with those idiots and explaining to people like Mark and Tiff why we haven't gone to the police. Tiff? She saw the window. If you want to keep this our shameful little secret, you should have been up at dawn fixing it, oh, shouldn't you? Oh, just give me a break, Yeah, but you? where are you going? To the Vic, for some peace and quiet. <laughs> what the... Hey, come on! Did you see that? We looked everywhere, Mum. All the way to the park and back. Yeah, I know you did, love. Listen, you mustn't blame yourself. How am I going to tell Robbie? I mean, what's he going to say? I'm home! Well, I know soon enough. Hi. Robbie. Is something wrong? It's about well, our darling. What about him? Oh, Robbie, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it to happen. What? What's happened? Where's Wellard? We don't know. I left him tied up outside the calf, and when I come out, he was gone. We've looked everywhere for him, and no one's seen him. You've lost him? You've lost Wellard? Listen, listen, calm down. Like, he, he can't have gone very far. Well, where was this? How long ago? About four o'clock. He's been missing all this time. Why didn't you tell me? I thought he'd come back. We didn't want to worry you. Yeah? And then we were looking for him. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Listen, he can't have gone very far. He's got a tag with a phone number on. Somebody's going to find him and call us. Why hasn't he come back on his own? He'd know to come back. Are you sure he's not out there? Yeah, they've looked everywhere, darling. Well, you can't have looked hard enough. What are you just sitting there for? Where is she? Oh, down for the night now, I hope. Yeah, mate. Cheers. Right. Been better. Simon's really upset, Tony. Can't you... Look, I've come in here to get away from it, all right, Tiff? Mum, how's it going? Oh, all right, I think. Cheers. <laughs> now they gave Martin a good talking to. Told him how lucky he was that they weren't going to press charges and told him what would happen to him if ever he got into trouble again. What do you think it sunk in? Well, he went very quiet. Didn't say a word on the way home. Oh, I'm sure he's learned his lesson. Yeah, well, we'll see. Anyway, I've let him go to his friend's house tonight to do his homework. You know, to let him see that I trust him. Promise he'll be home before dark. That's good. So that big cafe in here for a drink. Oh, do you want me to get you one? Hmm? No, it's all right. I'll wait till she gets here. Oh, okay. And there she is. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Can I? Sorry I'm late, Paul. It's all right. Ian caught me on the phone coming out. He's had a bit of trouble at the chippy. Oh? Someone threw red paint at the window, made a right mess. Did you see who it was? Well, he thinks it's those jobs have been hanging around. He had some trouble in the shop earlier. Oh, I think I know who you mean. They've been in here. But they're young, though. They're 17, 18. Old enough to know what they're doing. Oh, it makes you sick, doesn't it? I rang Jill's mum today. It's the anniversary, isn't it? Yeah, tomorrow. 
Who was she? Yeah, she was fine. She was pleased that I remembered. They're gonna lay some flowers on the grave. I just want to know that I still think about you. I'm sure it means a lot to you. Yeah. Buy your drink. Got one, thanks. Oh, come on. I want to be on the own. Look, I'm sorry I had a go at you. But it's been a long day and to come back and find the window still boarded up. I... So I let you down, yet again. We need to talk. Not in here. Well, where then? Look, I'm not the enemy here. This is happening to both of us. You didn't get beaten up, did you? You know, I'd have given anything to have been there with you. Yeah, well, you weren't, was you? Of course, I'm sure you could have seen them off single-handedly. The point is, they're cowards. I mean, how much courage does it take to chuck a brick through a window? We can't let them drive us apart, Tony. That way they win. Don't you see? It's what they want. We can't let them do this to us, Tony. I see. He's coming. He's on his own. No, it's getting dark. He can't keep on looking. Listen, don't worry. Well, yeah. that's a friendly dog. If he's lost, someone will help him. Robbie? Found these slung over the bins. Oh, Robbie. Why would anyone want to do that? He hasn't got a collar now. How's anybody going to be able to get in touch with us? No, I've got to go Listen, find Well. there's no point, love. I can't leave Well on out all night. Somebody would have found him by now and taken him in. Oh, we're going to get him back. Look, they'll, they'll give him to the police or the RSPCA. Why hasn't he come back? He knows the way back home. What happens if he's gone to the dual carriageway? What happens if he's been oh, run over? Oh, don't do this to yourself, Robbie. But he's out there all on his own. What were you thinking about, Sonia? How could you let him off like that? Claire needed me help. It was only for half an hour. I trusted you to look after him. I never thought this would happen. What a stupid things to do. I thought it'd be all right. You know he's the most important thing in the world to me. I love him too, and I'd never do anything to hurt him. But you have. He's out there alone, terrified, unable to get home. He could be lying somewhere, trapped or so. Robbie, stop it. I didn't mean it. He's gonna come home. He's got to. If anything happens to Wellard, it'll be your fault, Sonia. And I'll never be able to forgive you. Never! Is he all right? I'm gonna try talking to him, but he won't listen. Tell me about it. Why, what's happened? We had another row. What about? Does it matter anymore? Look, let me get you another drink, yeah? All right, I've not got much of the paint off of the window, but it's made a right mess of the brickwork and the pavement. We're really lucky the glass didn't break. I don't feel very lucky. What a thing to do. You don't know what's going to be next, do you? Well, if you run any sort of business around here, you have to allow for it, don't you? Well, pay for it in insurance premiums. Well, why should we just pay out and accept it? Oh, if you ask me, it's all down to the parents in the end. Letting their kids run wild. You can't keep your eye on them every minute of the day. You don't have to if you brought them up to have respect for others. It starts at home. Yes, but you don't know what sort of a crowd they fall into when they get to school. If you've done your job right, you can trust them. I don't think you realise just how much bullying goes on, what pressures there are. Then you teach them how to stand up for themselves. Uh, did a great job of your two sons. Oh, come on, you two. We all do our best. It ain't easy. Is this the same lot that did over behind the stall? And had a go at Mick. I mean, why hasn't something been done about all this? I've had enough. Next time, I want to sort them out. We're worried the police when you need them. They should be yeah. out there dealing with this. Yeah, well, the old Bill couldn't stop the teddy bear's tea party, could they? They should be coming down hard on it. I mean, that's what we pay our taxes for. And we deal with things like that ourselves around here. Why should we descend to their level? It's time for decent, ordinary people we'll let the yob element know that we are just not going to take it anymore. That's really going to stop them in their tracks. Say the speeches for the politicians. There's only one language those kids understand. Yeah, give them a good kicking first, then we can talk to them, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's all a big joke, isn't it? But then what's a little paint and some damaged stock compared to what else has been going on? Well, maybe if something hadn't wound them up in the first place, they wouldn't still be hanging around causing trouble for the rest of us. Do you think we asked for a brick for our window? What's this? Simon and Tony have been having a bit of trouble. If you can call Tony taking a beat in a bit of trouble. It's just a spot of queer bashing, that's all. You know, how your kids get their kicks on a Saturday night. Oh, come on, Simon. They learn their attitudes from somewhere. It all starts at home, doesn't it? Simon? Sure no one here goes along with that sort of thing. Oh, not openly, no. But it's the difference between what people say in public and how they act in private. Well, it goes for you too. Maybe if you'd have been a bit more discreet. Well, why should we? Look, personally, I don't care who knows. And if anyone don't like it, well, that's their problem. Most of you must have seen the window. Did anyone want to know? And when Tony got beaten up, no one tried to stop it or looked out or even went to the police. Yet you stand around here spatting on about how something should be done. We weren't there, Simon. Of course we would have stopped. Oh, it. come on. You just don't want to know. 
take it easy, Simon. Tony, wait! Shout a bit louder. The rest of the square ain't heard you yet. Yeah, but what was I supposed to do? You heard how they were going on. Did you have to drag our private lives into it, though? We've been attacked. People should know what's been going on and why. Well, they'll all be joining in now, won't they? Yeah, well, at least we'll know who's on our side and who isn't. It's not a bad side. We've got to live with these people. Yeah, and we've got to live with each other. We can't go different ways on this one. So you just stand up in our local and decide to speak for both of us. Or was it all for my benefit, eh? This ain't going to go away, Tony. Keeping your head down ain't an option anymore. That is my choice, not yours. You had no right to take it out of my hands. I couldn't gloss over what's been happening. Look, I'm tired of lying about it. Well, I hope you're happy. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Because as far as I'm concerned, you've made things a million times worse.